scapulothoracic dissociation anatomy you can see the shoulder joint we call it the glenohumeral joint and the scapulothoracic joint that's where the problem of the dissociation occurs the scapulothoracic dissociation is a rare entity that consists of disruption of the scapulothoracic articulation it is a traumatic lateral displacement of the scapula with intact skin. We also say it is a closed traumatic four-quarter amputation. The skin around the shoulder is bruised but intact, but underneath there is an avulsion of the scapula with associated clavicle fracture or sternoclavicular disruption or AC joint separation. The patient will have reduced pulses or no pulses in the extremity. Angiogram should be performed to diagnose the vascular injury. Most often, there is a varying degrees of injury to the brachial plexus and to the subclavian artery, resulting in a flail, pulseless upper extremity. This injury can be missed. The chest X-ray will show significant lateral displacement of the scapula. This entity can be associated with upper extremity fractures, such as fractures of the scapula, clavicle, and humerus. What is the treatment? The treatment usually starts with advanced trauma life support, like an airway, breathing, circulation. We do angiography and repair of the artery if needed. Early above elbow amputation and shoulder fusion is based on the degree of the neurovascular and the scapular muscle damage. All my videos and this video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.